Hey guys, welcome out to the garage gym. Uh, today I want to show you some stuff that I've been building lately. Um, this is the squat rack and bench press rack that I made. It's literally all out of scrap wood. Okay, some of the stuff I had lying around, and uh, some of the stuff actually got donated to me, which is kind of cool. If you look over here, I've just got some uh, simple 4x4s. All right, it's all pressure treated. Well, the 4x4s and a lot of this other stuff is pressure treated, so it's going to last for a long, long time. And it's super, super simple design, okay? I've got some uh, racking stuff in here to help hold the barbell wherever I need it. i got it set up right now for bench press. Up here, if you put it up in the top, this is for squats, okay? Um, put some uh, onboard storage on this thing, basically. It's some, uh, some oak dowels that I had. Real simple to do. It's just one inch diameter. And just drilled a through hole all the way through the 4x4 and put in these uh, oak dowels. And then that way it holds all of my weights on here, okay? Now let me show you how it works real quick. Uh, this is the weight bench, obviously. It's designed just like the saw horses that I like to build. And I'll do a separate video on how to make this and also the saw horses that I do. Quick demonstration on just the simple bench press and how everything works together on there. Again, just got the racks right here, which is some simple 2 by 4s Got it screwed in uh, to the 4 by 4s right here. When you come up, you kind of have to design it based on your size and your arm length, all right? So when I was first trying this thing out, I had to get like a broom handle and adjust it a little bit to try to figure out exactly where the best fit was uh, for the bar. So I finally got that worked out. And you go ahead, do all your reps and stuff. Now, if you don't have a partner or a spotter, you might want to build these safety arms right here, okay? That way, if the weight is too much, you can drop it down. Sizing these can be kind of tricky as well because obviously you don't want to be at the bottom of your rep and then it slamming on these things where you can't go all the way down. So it needs to be just a little bit below that, okay? So again, a little bit of trial and error on how to get that size just properly. Now when you're doing it, you want to make sure that these things are on there really, really tight, really, really strong. Let me show you how we did that. Right down here, these things are called joist hangers, okay? These basically help hold your house up, hold your deck up, and it's just basically a piece of uh, galvanized steel that is bent and formed to hold two by fours or whatever you're working on. These things are super, super cheap. I think you can get them for like a dollar or two at uh, your home improvement store. And then I made a triangle to help support the entire structure. So that is super, super strong, okay? Um, basically, that's, uh, that's the rack on here. This is just uh, still in the prototype stage, so I'm probably gonna change it as time goes on. But uh, thanks for watching.